Welcome to the Pixelberry Choices Podcast and today we're going to be talking about Wake the Dead Chapter 9 and before I start, I have read all of your comments, just didn't get the time to reply for one or the other reason but I'll get back to each and every comment of yours from the time I stopped checking them so don't worry about that. Alright, so let's get started with chapter 9. So in the last chapter at the end we saw, when we come back to our colony, we saw that the two of the tower folks were there. So we run after them. And so these are basically the tower folks. One is a woman who actually we had a we had an argument with and later we knew that she was the one who literally reported us to Blackstock and then that could have gotten us expelled from there or made us a target of Blackstock that we would be we would be sacrificed on behalf of the tower and then we try to track them out but as soon as we track them we see zombies attacking them but even something worse comes out and that is we see a couple of riders in horses they're coming and they're basically just with brutality killing the zombies off but what comes after was scarier that they want to capture us because we have been invading their region there so now what we are left with is that we go to their place and they call themselves the knight of iron mount reminded me of knight of osiri but we go with them and this is a feature of Wake the Dead. Uh, you guys brought it to my attention uh, long ago. That in each and every chapter, you know, when it starts, it starts with what's going to happen in the, the, that particular chapter. And then it shows us the, the name, the Wake the Dead, uh, that name with different backgrounds. So that's something really amazing. And we go there, we see the colony. So it's ruled by a king. As we came to know, Iron Mount, and we see people who are working hard, cutting the trees and putting them into rickety horses. There's a description, and also we see people who are really thin, and they look like, you know, they're not well-fed for a colony that claims to be that good with this, these good night, you know, knights. But then we are brought in front of the king, but before that, we have a chance that we learn, we see the face of the head knight who is a female and her name is Alia, I think. And she's the one. So she looked like she's not bad per se, but she will follow the king's rules and king's whatever judgment the king gives, even though a lot of times she doesn't agree with him. But then we also see the two townsfolk, uh, the tower folk, they try to pin the blame on us. But then before we are taken to the king, we will get an opportunity to read another lore about Iron Mound so we can learn something about it and this will help us like it helped us with the past three scenarios, in, in past three scenarios. So we read it, we see when it was established and all the rules it had, just like, you know, Sunflower Creek, it has its own rules, and the king who is ruling it. So all the things we learn about, and then we are presented in front of the king. So we tell the king that we didn't want to come to their territory, or we were not trespassing there. But then the two tower folk, they say that we are originally from tower, and we came here betraying them. We try to say that we try to explain the situation but the king who is named Trent who looked like a total tyrant um, despot he didn't listen to us and instead he said one from each group one from the two of the tower folk one from our group and one of her his head knight which is going to be Alia they're going to be we're together going to fight against each other in the arena Whoever lives, lives, and whoever dies, dies. And that's how we're going to be executed. So that was basically a moment when we realized that this king is up to no good. Alia did seem like she is not in full support of this, but she could not stand to, his, to her king at that point. But then the two other girls, who seemed like really friendly, 
but they also didn't say much and we come go to a bar with the two tower folk the tower guards and then there we see that they're getting gitted up in the bar and they're just letting loose and so we'll get a diamond scene to just sneak but into the arena so some other fights are also going on so it's just like a so at first i thought maybe it's just one time battle thing but later i realized these kind of battles are going on under the king like if anybody doesn't agree to the king they are put in this situation so basically killing the people who disagree with him or have committed some kind of felony in a way that will make him look like you know that will that will make it enjoyable for him being a jerk that Kane trained is but in the way to the bar we meet one of the folk from that iron mount and he is the apprentice of the blacksmith there so darren his name and he seemed to admire us a lot and he wanted to learn about the outside world and he will also give us sort of like an arm set that will protect us so we will take that and i don't think you need to spend diamond for that you don't and then we will continue and little did i know that you know darren was going to be one of our allies later so then we go to the bar and we take the diamond scene if you take the diamond scene you can sneak up with ellie and angel to the to the arena where we're actually going to fight and the us another trial is also going on the trial after that our trial is coming so then we go and we see that zombies are unleashed on the ground in the battlefield and there are some head you know experience nice and there are some folks who look like they're terrified and they're being executed maybe they have committed something but they look you know sheer terror on their face they are common people who are just being exploited and trent being a total tyrant he's just enjoying this from a distance but we will take some tips from angel and ellie that if we are fighting for ourselves like we have killed zombies so far killing zombie you know there's no question about ethics but we have not killed a living human being yet but we might want to kill might have to in at least the tower guards we need to kill them and then we can't we have to kill whoever we're up against or we can make allies with the guards so with all the things in mind we see and then if you take the diamond chain one of the unfortunate man one man he will be attacked by zombies but he will have a knife that, we, that he will drop and it will come to our feet near our feet and stop and then we can take it so it will also help in our fight then we go back and come back to the arena also we get a little romance scene like not romance but we can just flirt with one either ellie or angel so i chose uh, ellie there and then we get back and we are ready for the fight. Troy will tell us that we need to kill the tower guard, the female one, because if she gets away from here, then our our identity, our hiding spot will be up, you know, will be in the open. And before, when we discovered them in the open, before getting found out by the Iron Mount knights, yeah, they, we also saw that they were talking on radio with Blackstock. So if Blackstock comes to know about our place, our colony, he will destroy it all by himself. So we go to the arena, we fight. First we try to find this tower guard and then we will be sort of losing at first but then we'll make a comeback and finally we'll have a choice to kill the tower guard so we can kill him actively or passively i personally chose to finish her off by our hand because i didn't want to take any risk because if she gets away then that will impact us but then we fight zombies after zombies and trent on purpose was releasing zombies and was trying to sort of um get us to let our guard down and to just enjoy what we do you know he was just enjoying how we were if we were gonna get scared or how we we're gonna die what kind of death we we're gonna get she was enjoying all those things from the sidelines but suddenly we see that they have captured not a normal zombie but a scout and this scout 
calls us basically uh, calls to the other zombies and they come there and all the zombies get out of hand and the zombies this time start they start attacking the people on the sideline even it goes after the king so the king then he just fled saying like he needs to be saving given how a coward he is and then it's up to us then we can fight side by side with Aaliyah and we will take out the zombies we will also save Aaliyah's life if we had taken the knife in the premium scene we will also save Daring with the you know arm plates that we got from him and then we will take down the scout with the help of Aaliyah and we will kill some zombies there and then finally we will see one tower guard is death the female one and the male one was trying to run away but Aaliyah will help us and will sort of I think she will hit her hit him on the leg so he will not be able to move and thus the threat that he can deliver the message to Blackstock will be gone so we help each other and then finally Trent will be brought there by the people. So Trent is clearly not the king or leader they needed. He was a tyrant who ran in the face of danger when his people in need, when his people were in the need of protecting, like he didn't care about his people. He didn't care about anyone, he just ran away. And before that, he was just a tyrant, you know, ruler of the place, executing people for fun. That's all he did. So then we get to choice, we get to choose that, what do we do with Trent? Do we kill him or, you know, forgive him his life? So Aaliyah would not want him dead because she has known him from very first childhood. But, you know, lately he has done stuff that are not just agreeable. So now Aaliyah is going to be the new leader. So let me know what you guys choose. But personally, I chose to spare his life because I thought he will learn from his mistakes even though immediately after he says he will not work hard he will not he will not learn from his mistakes but you know I thought you know if we just kill him that's just the end but to be honest he needs to be taught a lesson you know and he needs you know we need to make an example out of him that you know you are going to redeem yourself by working hard if you just kill him, that would not make any difference between uh, him and us. So that was my POV. Let me know what, what you guys choose and what did you thought, what did you think of that? And would you um, choose at that? So this was the hard choice of the chapter. And then we come back to our colony with some force from Iron Mount and Aaliyah. We in a diamond choice. We get to build a special asset to the colony to our lodge that I named survival's lodge so we get to build that but we need to spend diamond for it and it will also increase our moral but in the second option you also get to choose in between basketball court and spurring arena which are free options but we can only build one of them I thought we need to increase the moral because the moral is down so I went with basketball court let me know what you did what you guys choose and then we finally see that Dirk, you know, coming and talking with us. So Dirk is giving off some negative energy that he doesn't believe we should be bringing this many people. And we are a leader of this lodge, but we will have to take the full responsibility it comes down. So he's acting sort of in a way like he doesn't trust us or he doesn't trust many people. Uh, he doesn't want to do anything with us and he's just the ominous character here like who is always negative but what will happen that's where it ends Good. the ending didn't have in and of itself any cliffhanger but that's about it let me know in the comments your thoughts and opinions to recap the chapter as it always does so we went with the iron mount knights we met the king we took the lore we read about them their history and about them then we chose the premium scene and we got a knife that we used to protect Aaliyah we protected Darren by using you know his plates or by using some other premium outfits we had chosen before 
and then also we see we get this hard choice whether to spare Kent's life, Trent's life, or kill him. So we choose to, I chose to spare him. Let me know what you guys choose and um, what was your reason. And then for the final two choices, did you guys, uh, I took the update, which is a premium update option to our colony, to our lodge, where we get to build a premium, you know, asset that we did. And then in between Spurring Arena and Basketball Court, I went with Basketball Court to build the moral, to have a balance between all the assets. And then I'm still a hunter. That's where it ends. And next chapter is going to be interesting because it's chapter 10. So come to think of it, we're only four chapters behind the VIP folks. So after one month, we're going to get the finale from when the VIPs get a finale. So... This is really getting interesting. Let's see how many chapters this book have. And um, I think this book is going to have more than 16 chapters. And whether whether this book is going to get a sequel or not. So a lot of questions there. Let's see what the book's fate is going to be. And what is in the store for this book. Meanwhile, you guys stay safe. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Comment. Let's talk down there. Peace out.